So I feel like my boots um, have a bit of a country vibe today with these boots, but I also think it's possibly going to be like mucky and grassy, which is why I thought these boots would actually be a good idea. So this is my outfit. Really don't know if I need to put anything around this or if it's okay. I kind of think it's cute. I'm not sure. I'm actually, I'm not going to wear it, but I totally would be tempted like to wear one of my like New England hats. I was just letting my dry shampoo just soak into my hair. But yeah, happy Saturday. I'm putting a lot of faith in my anti-slip mat right now. I actually like never ever vlog in the car but I have you like set up and I don't have my viewfinder on so I actually like I can't see myself and you're actually just sitting like in my sight anyway. Um, so I think it should be okay and I'm not going to do it obviously once I get out of like residential streets but it's half past seven now. I'm just on my way to Kyle's house and um, we were at the Balmoral show so Kyle was obviously volunteering at it um, and he was at the lockkeeper's cottage so that is in Tombbridge for anyone who's curious. Next Sunday this vlog will probably 
won't be up, but there's the Loch Ness Artisan Market. It's on, and then the Loch Keeper's Cottage is in. Tim, it's a tea room, it's lovely. It's just calling. So Molly and I went, we drove to Lisburn, and they had a shuttle bus on from Lisburn, which was probably the most convenient way to do it, to be honest, because uh, parking was a tenner, and like we don't know the area, so we wouldn't have known where to park in that. So we did that, uh, spent ages at it. The tickets are 24 pound. Like, I don't know if it was 24 pounds worth, but it was kind of worth it to go like the first time, because we've never been before. So it was very good, um, there's loads to see. Like we saw like show jumping, we saw like a sheep competition, which I think was just like sheep for like being well bred, if you know what I mean. And then we did watch a sheep shearing competition, which I actually didn't really like. I thought it was a little bit on the violent side. Um, and then we saw like some other cattle, and then there was obviously just like stands and selling stuff and like food market and stuff. Uh, Be Perfect were there, so I did get one of their new Chroma concealers because I actually have heard quite good things about it. I've also heard good things about their bronzer, which is their cream bronzer, but I don't need a new cream bronzer, so I didn't pick it up yet. And then Kyle is away home, he's home and all, so I just called into my sisters on the way home. And then I am now, as I said, on the way to Kyle's. I'll be up for about eight o'clock and um, might call in and get some like gins in a can and have a wee drink this evening. And then I don't know what we'll do tomorrow, but hopefully the weather will be nice tomorrow. I'm We'll get up to something. So I'm at a red light, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Welcome to Sunday. This is the state of me. Wearing like an extremely old running trainers, a pair of fabric leggings, Kyle's sister's sport bra and Kyle's sports top. So we're gonna go for a run. This is also my repair notice from when my camera was broken in like November, December and January. Just haven't taken it off. Yeah, we're gonna go on a run. I have a run to do. I'm doing a 5k plan, like a real slow 5k plan, just to try and get me in the habit of running again. And Kyle is doing a 10k plan. And then I brought my stuff all up to Kyle so I can like wash my hair and all here. Because I knew it was gonna need washed. I have my laptop with me so I can do some computer stuff and Kyle wants to do some weeding in the garden. I don't particularly fancy doing weeding in the garden so I'm gonna have a think. I said to him like it's gonna take me obviously like half an hour to an hour between showering and getting ready and doing my makeup, getting dressed, trying my hair, whatever. So I was like go out do stuff in the garden then and then um, I'll have a think about what I want to do today. day. Should probably just involve like maybe a walk and a coffee. Nothing overly fancy. I'm really scared of the bejesus out of me. Good morning, welcome to what day is it today? It's Monday. I ended up staying at Kyle's last night. We were out and about, I don't think I really took a lot of clips, but we basically went out and about to buy a baby present for people that we know, and then we were gonna call in to visit them, but it didn't suit. So then at that point, we were then like out in Marfelt, and we had a like dinner at some Kyle's early, like an early Sunday dinner. We were out in Marfelt, so then we just kind of like drove around. We decided to do spontaneous, do a, like a brown, send an else to the brown sign day. We just follow the brown signs. So we ended up at this uh, like dark sky observatory, um, it was called Bugmore. Put the like actual information somewhere. What is this? Oh, that is so weird. That's my mirror. <sighs> there was like stone circles. So we had that and I had a big walk. We both went on a run yesterday. Kyle was in hill repeats. I was doing, um, what was I doing? I had like a run and walk run. So we both did like a run. So we both ended up with like loads of steps and stuff yesterday and then Kyle was wrecked. So we must have got home probably around seven. Kyle fell asleep at like eight. I did some YouTube stuff. I did a really, really massive skincare order. Like I think possibly the biggest one I've ever done. I'm gonna do a YouTube video about it, but like I basically had said, myself I've been keeping a list of all these products that I've wanted for ages and I was like right I'm gonna get to the midpoint of the month like I'll wait two weeks and if I still want these stuff like I've made a list of them if I still want I am going to get them so I did so I spent a lot of money a lot of skincare that you wouldn't use like every day you'd use it a couple of times a week so it's like months and months worth of skincare do you know what I mean um and then I could not get out of bed this morning so I was late because
closed, it was literally at my motorway exit or like a hundred meters before and there was a car accident. It was like, I started work at nine and it was like six minutes to nine and my motorway exit is like three minutes away from my house and I was like, come on. And I literally was in standstill traffic for five minutes. So I got to work at like 9.03. Uh, my two nieces are here, like they are every Monday. I'm just working away. We had like an important, like today and today on our project. Um, so I'm just working away on that. Um, and I have a board this afternoon. And apart from that, that's everything really. Our weather has been super weird recently. Like we had like two really warm days, like Saturday and Sunday. Like my sister had the kids in a paddling pool on Saturday. And it's now back to being like torrential. So I'm gonna have to try and like get my steps around the house and stuff because I really can't see myself like going for a walk. And I also washed my hair yesterday after I ran. So I kind of really wanna introduce Rain to it if I'm being honest. Hello, welcome to Tuesday. I'm very excited. I just got a delivery in the post. I got my Pearl Beauty, the one brush. It's like, I think it's like a hard plastic. It just says Pearl on it. It's quite a nice size. I don't really feel the need for brushes that are like really long, good to handle. It's like a, there's German synthetic bristles. I mean, I couldn't tell you like German bristles versus Italian bristles. So sorry, I have my like focus on. So I keep popping in and out of focus. It's got like this nice slant. I see her like do it and then clean up with it. So I'm gonna throw on some makeup. Also, I don't know, has anyone else experienced? Can you see that? Look how fuzzy my hair is here, but I haven't done anything else. Part of me is like, is that new growth or is it just something has happened to my hair? So I'm gonna throw on a bit of foundation and then I'm gonna use this for the real depth and for like either easy going or put together. I do want to try it because she said it should work with most cream or liquid formulas so I do want to try it with like other bronzers maybe like my elf putty bronzer and stuff but I thought I would try it with like just pearl beauty to start with sorry it's a bit of a weird angle but I wanted to try and put myself in front of the window for more natural light I actually want to show you I got the chroma liquid concealer by be perfect I picked this up at their trade stand in Balmoral and um, I asked for help with the shade selection because I wasn't really sure and I got a warm color because I didn't really like the cool tones which is interesting considering yesterday I was watching a lot of Cardi video founder of Pearl Beauty who I'm talking about I think I mention her every week and she said that she has found that she's been going for cooler tones and stuff for her under eye because the pink tone is more brightening which obviously makes sense because pink is like brightening I don't know it looked a bit too cool for me so it has kind of like a doe foot applicator it's like a bit funny it's like less it's not really doe footed and it's not quite slanted. Um, the girl did say, you know, obviously you get more coverage and everything if you leave it for a while. So I was gonna go in with my sponge, but I'm actually gonna go in with my finger. I think kind of what I feel about this concealer, I'm trying to get up really close so you can see, is I honestly kind of have no opinion. I said, <laughs> I don't know if that's terrible or not. It actually, I've just put it on and it actually looks a lot nicer put on with my finger than I did with the sponge. The f I used it the other day and I used it with my sponge and I sort of was just like whatever but actually it's I quite like it with my finger so I will let you know what I think about that Um, I have a very big problem with like I have quite visible can you see those like, quite visible creases in my under eyes and I don't seem to be able to like get rid of them and obviously when I then set the concealer under my eyes it sets the crease so concealer is like my most problematic piece of makeup okay so I'm gonna go in with put together and girl next door I might zoom you in a bit because I don't yeah since I'm doing makeup I thought I would zoom you in a terrifying a large amount so going in with real depth I'm gonna do real depth straight on my face and then I will do a girl next door on the brush and just see what that is like so Blend it in, not blend it in. I do usually, no, I was gonna say I go 50 50. I probably usually do apply them to the brush. I feel like con the like contour shade, which is real depth, is the one that I would usually apply to my face first because I feel like I'm trying to like place it in somewhere in particular. And she kind of like cleans it up. I don't really know. I don't know why. Like, I see her do that in videos and it makes sense. But whenever I try to think about doing it on my own face, I'm like, how does that, like, work? And then just putting girl next door. It's funny, the brush that I use normally is lighter in bristle colour. So it's so obvious that you're putting the product on it. Although I have now coloured this pink. Perfect. 
I actually forgot how pink girl next door was. It's funny, I was gonna say like it almost like, if you like that brush, like almost sheared it out more than my other brush, because my other brush is slightly denser. It also like, the color is sheer, tone has stayed, if that makes sense, because like, not, I don't wear, to be fair, girl next door like too often, because it is quite pink. That went on very like buildable. Pink is still really there, and this brush is so like nice and soft. So yes, I'm happy with this brush. I don't really know about like the kind of cleaning it up. I don't know if she literally just means like oh just use the edge in terms of putting those on. And I love like, I think this is just such pretty packaging as well. Like how cute is that? I'm gonna buy everything she puts on. You obviously are not able to see what I have made, but it is Tuesday. It is six o'clock, it's after work. And I'm just pulling together the last little parts of my dinner. I did make a massive portion and I am gonna use this. I am not someone who minds reading the same food over and over again. So I have made Healthy Living James's peanut butter curry, but with a Bosch twist, which is that I'm going to add halloumi because Bosch have this unreal peanut butter and halloumi curry. Uh, I do have microwave rice and I haven't decided if I'm gonna serve this up with rice or just serve it on its own, but I'm very excited and I will show you it when it's done. Basically, there are two messages that previously were completely separate. So for pre previous times that these messages were communicated, they were separated, at, they were communicated at completely different times. Um, but they now need to be joined together because they're kind of interrelated. And my first attempt at it was so long because originally there were two separate messages, but now they're one message combined and like, I find it so hard to cut out detail because I am always like, <laughs> you need to know everything, but of course you can't actually like say everything in an email because it's way too long or like in a newsletter or in like an informational thing. <laughs> My head's kind of fried and then obviously the information that I am writing about, I understand and I get because it's my work, but it's not it's new to the people who are getting it. So trying to think about like, surely you know what that is, or you know what this is, or you know how to do this. Obviously they don't, because it's entirely new to them, which is the whole point of having to like communicate to them. And I've just sat there for like an hour straight and my head is just a bit fried. And then the thing is, is that like the same messaging needs to go to different groups of people with like slightly different circumstances. So does this make any sense? <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna sit on the floor for like, just like sit on the floor for like five minutes and then go back to work. So happy Wednesday. Uh, Kyle's in the office today. He's gonna come to mine after work. We're gonna look after my nephew. Tomorrow I'm in the office and then we're gonna go visit our friends, which I mentioned earlier on. I was gonna say earlier on in the podcast. Friends. So we're gonna go see our friends tomorrow after work. And yeah. Am I... I haven't really zoomed in. Did my hair, so I had done, I put mousse in it because I'm convinced I have like curly hair, but I haven't like actually sat down, or not curly hair, wavy hair, I haven't like actually just sat down and done some research on it. So then every now and then I'll just do like one thing that people say to do. So I did put mousse in it, then I did overnight curls, and then I actually just ended up just actually curling it. Um, I washed it this morning. I usually wouldn't like style my hair on like wash day, but I'm in the office tomorrow, so I do prefer to have my hair done, because I usually just like to put a little bit more put together, and this will last a couple of days, although I'm just remembering I haven't hairsprayed it. Kyle hasn't been on, you look like you're shrouded in darkness. Kyle hasn't been on the vlog in a while, so I wanted to have him there. 
Just reassure the fans that I'm not just having. <laughs> he could not be further away from me if he tried. He can. Watch it. We're babysitting tonight. Need to run to the Abbey Centre first. And then babysitting. I was editing. How did I zoom in on this camera? I'm pointing at my own face, which is on the camera. Why is it so hard to get a full body shot? See, the angles are always terrible. Oh, OTD. Doc Martens, new look, Chavarius. Running kind of late. Is anybody else in a situation where if you have time then you go so slowly and then you end up running late? So I had to bring my dad to the airport before I go to work and he has to go to the airport. We're leaving in nine minutes, which means I've had like an hour to get ready, which is way more than I would usually have, which means I know I haven't had a chance to get breakfast and I'm not fully ready to go because I was like, I have time. I don't need to rush. Tesco haul. I got this cup because it was three pound and I'm an idiot. And I actually just wanted a single croissant, but they didn't have single croissants, so I bought a pack of eight. Now my colleagues and I can all have croissants. Look how cute is this cop? Three point. Touched it. Good morning. Welcome to Friday. Two of my parcels have arrived. But I need the third one to arrive so I can do a dedicated skincare video. <sighs> Look fantastic and me are gonna fall out. Yeah, it's Friday. Uh, was in the office yesterday, got Kai, went up to his house, visited our friends and our new baby. And then just came home. What day did I end my vlogs on? That's a very valid point. Came home this morning, chatted to my mum, went to work, working. Waiting for my parcels to arrive. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna end the vlog, to be honest. I'm at my cousin's child's christening tomorrow. Uh, there actually is a march that I would kind of like to go to. But I think it clashes with the christening. Um, and then also, then the Loch Ness. I am gonna put this up. No, I can't. Unless I put it up on like Saturday. Why do I think like six people are gonna watch my videos and be like, I am going to that market. The Loch Ness Artisan Market is on. Sunday. If you're watching this video, it's on today in two, one o'clock to five o'clock. Go. I think it'll be really good fun. My mum's going. I am on an absolute filming kick. I must have video filmed like four videos in the last week, which is actually unreal because uh, it's quite hard to think of like ideas and stuff. And it's also quite hard to find the time working full time and everything. But like, I just like, had a bit of inspiration this week and then being able to, you know, just like take, you know, half an hour here and there and like just rattle out a video or film it in two parts or like if it's like a try on video, like try on the stuff at one point and then film the video at another point and I've just been like being able to do it. So I'm actually literally just finished up work and I'm gonna try and just record another like 30 minute video, get it done. And then I think I will have like possibly four videos on like the back burner. I have another one that I can do. It's gonna be that skincare one. I have a couple of other ideas and I'm just gonna keep rattling them out. And then hopefully in like three to four weeks time, have another burst of inspiration. So that is my plan for the evening. Getting the girls, my nieces, who the girls are. Me and my mom are gonna pick them up from nursery so we can hang out with them. And do this video, edit, all that jazz, chilled out weekend. My dad's away, just me and my mom for this evening. Tomorrow, like I said, I'm at a christening market, blah, 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 for the weekend. So I'm probably gonna wrap up the video here. If I have anything interesting to tell you between now and then, my vlogs are currently going Saturday to Friday, being uploaded on a Sunday. Hopefully that works for you all, cause it's so far pretty much working for me, apart from the fact that it does leave me to edit right at the weekend, but only one day at the weekend. So I think it works. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Back again for our vlog. I said I was finishing. It's 20 past one in the morning. I've just put on my fake tan. And just before I came to do my fake tan, my blinds fell off my window. Yay! Left some damage on my floor. Right there. This was from the last time my blinds fell off my window. 
knock down this plant, which survived, but shows scars from the last time they fell off my window. These blinds, possibly 25 years old, possibly need replaced. I'm <laughs> so stressed out. Oh my God, I'm so zoomed in. <laughs> I'm gonna be woken up at like five o'clock in the morning by the sun which is obviously a bloody nuisance. But I've been saying for ages that I just want like either curtains or like blinds. And my dad's just like, just don't put the blinds up. As in like, don't let light into my room. And I'm like, that's not gonna work for me. So potentially I'm gonna have a real fun like investment with next month's paycheck, which is um, getting blinds for the room in my parents' house. 